you need to do that. So avoid this last mistake, which is definitely uh, the most severe, the severest of these three ones. And it has to do with leadership. It has to do with leadership, with your leadership. Are you a consequent leader? Hi there. This is Armin again, Armin Rao, the founder of Elena Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And today I'd like to share with you the three biggest mistakes that you have to avoid to, uh, to make your business a success, you know? to, to, to avoid back bankruptcy, to avoid your business, you know, going down the drains. And um, stay with me until the end because the most important mistake, the most serious one, I'm going to mention it at the end as mistake number three. Mistake number one is that you treat every customer differently. So for example, if you're using, if you're, um, if you are delivering a, a solution or a uh, service or even a product, um, uh, the, the, the mistake that you are often, um, you know, inclined to make is uh, that you are creating something new, something slightly different or even a lot different for every new customer that you win because you think you can only win the customers um, by giving them exactly what they want. The very very uh, big disadvantage of that is that you can't introduce standardization, you always have a different process, you have different tasks and it is um, uh, impossible to scale as I said. Um, so that will at the end you know you will spread yourself too thin, too thinly, and uh, that will not get you the success. Uh, you will then get um, problems with uh, individual customers, difficult to solve because every customer is different, every application or every product is different. Experts that know one installation, you know, might have left the company so you can't solve it. You need standardization in order to scale in your products, your solutions and your services and hence also in your processes and your methodologies. The second most important mistake that you have to avoid is that um, <clears throat> is lack of focus. So again, you know, that means, you know, offering too many things to your clients, having a product portfolio that is too wide. Start small, start with a little thing and then slowly but surely, you know, build your product portfolio that um, com where the products complement each other. If you make this mistake, you will have similar effects. Scalability will be extremely hard to uh, achieve. And one very, very, very bad consequence of that will be you will never become really good at anything. And you want to be the best in something very small and then continuously increase your success and become better and better and better. And that will allow you to become profitable and to make your business a success. Number three is actually something that I got wrong in past engagements and that I will not get wrong again is to keep people that uh, are not big enough for their jobs for too long. That is a very, very common mistake. And here I'm not only talking about the skills and the competencies, the knowledge, I'm also talking about the personality. And many times the personality is even more important than the skills. If you've got the slightest doubt that somebody will not be the right person to help you fulfill the company's tasks and achieve the company's goals, have a session with this person, explain exactly what your expectations are, be, cl be very clear about that and um, get their commitment to improve that with a defined deadline. If the goal, the objective is not met, you have to, you have to, um, you have to go separate ways. So you must not be afraid of, uh, yeah, firing people. Um, that does not need to be disrespectful. You can do this in a very, uh, you know, uh, respectful way, but you need to do that. So avoid this last mistake, which is definitely, uh, the most severe, the severest of these three ones. And it has to do with leadership. It has to do with leadership, with your leadership. Are you 
a consequent leader. Now, if you'd like to know more about a specific problem, a leadership challenge that you have, please feel free to contact me. Um, I've prepared a free business analysis for you. You just have to click on the link underneath uh, this video and you get in directly to the business analysis. And um, if uh, I believe that I can help you, we will have a chat together on your problem and uh, then I will certainly aim to give you important tips. So click on the link below for your free business analysis. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and if you would like to share it with your peers so that they can benefit too, please also uh, share the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already and don't forget, lead yourself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe here to get my latest content on startup leadership on my channel. Also feel free to take a look at my life program. It is tailor-made to turn founders and young professionals into leaders. Please have a look at the details and book a free business analysis session through the link in the description.